In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an Instagram feed onto your Astra WordPress website. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you create fast and responsive Instagram feeds like this without any coding needed. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. Once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. And then inside your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro and click Install Now. Once installed, go and click on Activate Plugin. There we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. Before we can start creating our first Instagram feed for Astro website, we have to go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you will now notice Instagram Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. And beside License Key, you can paste your license key from your Smash Balloon account like this and click on Activate. And now you can see that our Instagram Feed Pro license is active so we can now create our first Instagram feed. To get started, under Instagram feed on the left hand side, click on all feeds. Next, go and click on add new at the top. With Instagram feed pro, you can create several different feed types. You can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. In this video, we're gonna go with user timeline and that's already selected for us here. So we can go click on next. Now we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Click on add source. And for our first step, it's asking us if our Instagram account is a personal or business account. For this example, you can select the one that matches your Instagram account. But for this example, we're using a business account. So I'm going to select it like this. And next, it's asking us if we've connected our Facebook account with the plugin before. I'm going to click no. And then I'm going to click on connect with Facebook. This brings you inside Facebook. And in front of you, you can see all the Instagram accounts you've connected to your Facebook account. Select the Instagram account you want to display on your feed like this. Then click on next. And here you should see all the Facebook pages associated with your Facebook account. Select the Facebook page that's connected with your Instagram account like this and click on next. And for this last tip, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on your behalf. So it's completely safe. So go and click done and finally click OK. And on the security confirmation, it's just asking us to confirm that this is indeed our domain. Go click on yes, it is my domain. And back inside the plugin, you should now see your Instagram account as a source. You can select it like this and click add. And you should now see your source here as an option. You can select it like this and click next. And on our final step, you can select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of your Instagram feed. We have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, masonry cards, hard grid, and several more. For this video, let's go ahead with the masonry cards template. So we can select it like this and click on next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our new Instagram feed directly inside the plugin. Our feed displays all the latest posts from the Instagram account we selected. We can now go and embed this onto our Astro website. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this feed. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here you have options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. Currently, we have the masonry layout selected, which displays your posts in rows and columns in the original sizes. And at the top, we have the grid layout, which displays your posts in rows and columns. Next, we have the carousel layout, which lets you swipe through your Instagram posts like this. And lastly, we have the highlight layout, which highlights one specific post at the top of your Instagram feed like this. For this video, let's continue with the highlight layout. And if we look down below, we can specify the number of posts we want to display as well. Currently, we're displaying 12 posts for desktop. And if we want to change this, all we have to do is select it like this and enter the number of posts we want to display. And straight away, that change will be reflected inside your live preview. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also specify how many columns you want to display on your Instagram feed. To modify this, all you have to do is click on it like this and specify the number of columns you want for desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. Once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, go into color scheme on the left hand side. And at the top, you can see currently it's set to inherit from theme. This means that Instagram feed pro has created your feed to automatically match the design of your website. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. And once you're happy with the color palette of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to control the individual posts you want to display on your feed, go into settings at the top and then click on filters and moderation. At the top here, you can see moderate your feed. Go ahead and click on that. And if you enable it here, you can individually select posts that you want to allow or block on your Instagram feed. Let's disable this. And if we go back under filters, we can specify words to hide or show certain posts that contain those words. And at the bottom, you can even specify which type of posts you want to display. You can choose to show photos, feed videos, and even reels. And if you've added any filters, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to use Instagram Feed Pro to create and customize your Instagram feed, let me show you how to embed it onto your WordPress web page. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner. 
copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to. We're going to select the home page, then click on Add. And here we are on the home page for Astro website. And to embed our feed, we have two different options. First option is by using a shortcode block and pasting that shortcode we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll see a beautiful live preview of your Instagram feed directly inside your WordPress web page. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are now on the live web page. And if I scroll down below, you can see the section called find us on Instagram. And right here we have our brand new, beautiful Instagram feed in the highlight layout. You can see all the latest posts from my Instagram account called Green Grove Eatery. And if I click on any of these posts, it will open up in a light box view like this where you can see a caption for that post and buttons to check out the post on Instagram and a button to share it as well. If I scroll down below, you also have load more and follow on Instagram buttons. If I click on the load more button, it loads even more Instagram posts inside our feed directly on our website. But if you're wondering if we can embed this onto the sidebar or footer of your website, we definitely can. Let me show you how to do that. Back inside the plugin, I've got a new layout for my Instagram feed here. And to embed it to the sidebar or footer of my website, all I'm going to do is go click on embed once again, copy your shortcode, and instead of clicking on add to a page, go click on add to a widget instead. This takes us into the WordPress widgets menu. And for this video, let's go and add our Instagram feed to the footer of our website. And with Astra, you have your footer builder widgets. I'm going to select this one here. And to embed our Instagram feed inside the widget, we have the same two options as before. We can use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied like this. Or once again, we can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you can see a beautiful preview of your new Instagram feed directly inside the footer widget. You can now click on update and let's check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And here we are back on our live web page. And if I scroll down, you can see that Instagram feed we created earlier in the highlight layout and in the middle of our web page. But now if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, inside our footer, we have another Instagram feed in the carousel layout with swipeable posts like this. So you now know how to embed an Instagram feed on your Astro web page and onto the footer of your website as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.